Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. My previous video about the Health Tech capsule sensors sparked my interest in Meshtastic. The setup is simple and I was able to start using some of the features within a few minutes. The Meshtastic website offers a good overview. Packets are encrypted between peers. The devices rebroadcast messages they receive, forming a mesh. The Getting Started Guide informs that the Heltec Wi-Fi LoRa 32 V3 boards are supported. I'm interested in using one or more of these boards as mesh repeaters. This is a good warning about not powering up your board without an antenna attached. It could burn out the chip. The guide is very thorough, including installing ESP32 drivers. Well, I've done that already, so I'm ready to flash Meshtastic on my Heltec Wi-Fi LoRa 32 V3. I especially like the web-based flashing tool. You must use a Chromium-based browser like Edge. In the Web Flasher tool, select your device type. Then pick which firmware version you want to install. Clicking on Flash advises this is via USB. You can select your baud rate if desired. You can also choose to fully erase your device when you're installing the firmware. Once you click the Update button, select your device from the list of USB connected devices. Now, flashing will take some time. There are several steps. First is flashing the app partition. Next, the over the air partition is flashed. Finally, the file system partition is flashed. Remember from my previous video, the range test CSV file can be stored on an ESP32 to download later. In the flash tool, you can also monitor debug information from the Heltec board. We see messages from the Heltec board after it finishes booting. Let's watch it start up. The display refers us to the Meshtastic website for more information. And there's also this message informing that we need to set the region in the firmware. So I try to connect my Meshtastic phone app to my newly flashed Heltec board. Here, I'm assuming the pin would be 123456, like the Heltec capsule sensors, but I get a message saying the pin is incorrect. The instructions for the Android app inform that if the board is booted with the display connected, a random pin for Bluetooth is assigned. Otherwise, the pin stays as 123456. Okay, now I see when I try to connect my web configuration GUI to the board via Bluetooth, the Heltec display lights up with the new Bluetooth pin. Now in the Meshtastic web configuration GUI, I click Add New Device. I choose Bluetooth. I choose my Heltec board from the list. Now I enter the pin from the display on the Heltec board. Finally, the Meshtastic Web Configuration GUI is connected to our Heltec board. Yeah, we're going to want to join a channel so we can communicate with our other Heltec capsule sensors. But first, let's navigate to Config, then LoRa. Change the Unset in the Region dialog to the appropriate region. US in my case. When I click on the Save icon in the Web GUI, we can see the change has been sent to the Heltec board. Now, the Heltec board will reboot. This takes a moment. Going back to the Meshtastic phone app, I want to copy the channel URL from the channel tab. I'm going to email it to myself so I can paste it into the web configuration GUI. Back in the web configuration GUI, on the channels tab, click on the download icon in the upper right. Paste the channel URL here and hit apply. It's a little awkward as there's no feedback from the web GUI. But looking at the Heltec board, we can see it rebooting again. Now I can send and receive AES encrypted packets from the pure devices on this channel. Let's continue in the web GUI. 
connect via serial to the device. Clicking on one of my peers, D404, I type hello and send it. The person using the phone app associated with D404 receives the message. Next, they type a reply, hello friend, and send it back. We receive the message in the web GUI. Now, I don't know how the other peer device 6814 appears to be unknown now. I'm sure it'll get sorted out later, but we got a hello message from them as well. Let's reply back. What is your name? And the message is received in the phone app associated with 6814. Okay, next time I'm going to work out a field test scenario where the Health Tech board running Meshtastic on the same channel as the Health Tech capsule sensors will act as a repeater. It will be forwarding messages back and forth between the capsules, and we should be able to monitor the location of each of the capsules. Stay tuned. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a like, and before you go watch more of my Health Tech Laura videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.